hey, thanks for watching. Got a octave mandolin cello conversion here. I'm gonna play for you. to this five third string thing. A Yamaha 12, probably late 70s, early 80s, probably early 80s, real early. Um, and it sounded real good, but I'm just not a 12 string guy. Um, the bridge is held, holding on real good. It's got a nice belly, no gap in the bridge. Uh, so basically, I converted it to 5 without messing with the binding or the neck width or anything. And um, Came out pretty good. String spacing, pretty nice. Uh, and a little bit of slotting action and ramping action down at the bridge area and on the saddle. Really, uh, very few little 
little wugs on it. Nice, it's all plywood. Um, but nice book match plywood. Sides and back. Beautiful zipper and fully bound. Um, sides are book matched, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> can't see that in this light. Yeah, there you go. And uh, <clears throat> it's nice, nice not to have to mess with thinning out the neck and rebinding. And um, anyway, slot heads are nice too. A little lighter up top there. Um, what else can I tell you about it? It's uh, sounding good. So, and I've got it strung up with, uh, right now, I'm waiting on some 70s for the low C. I got a 56 and a 59 on the bottom, so a little buzzy. It's just got no balls, but the rest of it, I like this set. Um, from the low C will eventually be a 70. 70s down there. 49s on the G, 36s on the D, 23s on the A, and I bumped up to I think 16s on the E, the high E. And it's it's good. It's real, real punchy. A lot of tension, but um, it's holding it pretty good. This particular neck had the truss rod cranked tight when I bought it, and it was good. So I loosened it up actually to to give it some relief, show you kind of how nice it's, it's it's good, tiny bit of relief, darn straight neck. Anyway, it's a cool thing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.